Did Dak tell us about that butter nickname? Yeah. <laughs> what was your reaction when you, when you first heard that one? I'm happy he's uh, got a good um, feeling for me. So just hadn't heard it before. So <laughs> no, no reaction really. No marketing deals for butter. No, 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 <laughs> nothing like that. What's your relationship like with him? He mentioned knowing you before you were on the Cowboys. I think you guys have a mutual friend or trainer yeah. or something like that. So my kicking coach is um, actually his college roommate and best friend. So uh, uh, I've met him a couple times prior to signing with the Cowboys, but uh, other than that, no real prior relationship. Okay. <laughs> what's, uh, what's his name? What's that? What's your kicking coach's name? Brian Egan. And how did you get connected with him? I just Googled, Googled kicking coaches in the Dallas area, and he was the first one to pop up, so he had good software search optimization. <laughs> <laughs> so that was just right when you were done playing in the MLS, and you were getting ready for the USFL? Is that when you... No, so yes, done with the MLS, but the USFL wasn't in, didn't exist at that point, so I was just uh, working as a software engineer and kind of understood that that wasn't going to be my long-term path. How long were you doing software engineering before kind of... You saw the opportunity to be. Yeah, that was about like three months in, but overall I did it for two years. So that was it so 2019 two, to 2020 or 2021? 2019. Okay. Yeah. How'd you spend your bye week? I stayed at home, saw some family that I hadn't seen in a while, saw um, my in laws, just relaxed and uh, caught up with a couple friends. What job is more difficult? Kicking for the Cowboys or being a software engineer? <laughs> uh, very different. Um, I'd say. The day-to-day -day of being a software engineer is more difficult, but um, obviously the weekend is a lot more difficult for a kicker. Have you had any other soccer players reach out and be like, hey, saw your story, kind of inspiring. How, how do I get about going about doing this? Um, I've just had one really um, close friend, and it was actually while I was in the USFL, mm -hmm. um, and we've met at um, Carney kicking camps and whatnot and shared stories, and he's actually been able to go play in, in college ball, which because he never played college soccer here. So that would have been my route if it was open to me, but it wasn't. Because you played two other pro sports as a rookie. Yeah. The MLS. Yeah. Maybe Sorry. the MLS, you were a real rookie then. Yeah. How much does that help you here at this level? Because you're a little older than... Yeah. Um, I feel like I, I didn't really come in as a rookie. I feel mm -hmm. kind of more like a maybe a sophomore having played in the, the USFL for a couple of years. I know it's not exactly the same, um, but as a, as a kicker, it kind of is the same. You just have the, your operation to deal with. But um, yeah, I, I didn't really feel um, the same way as when I was coming to my rookie year as the MLS. How come? Was that just overwhelming or I don't know? I'm more mature, um, knew what to expect, ready for what it meant to be a professional athlete, um, which I can't say was true of my MLS rookie year. Were you say I was more of a kid? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Did you uh, watch Thank this year's NFL drafts? No. No. Did, what, did you kind of know going into it, like, hey, depending on what, where that direction goes, maybe there might be opportunities that open up for me based on that? Or? Yeah. Um, with the NFL draft, obviously, I just kind of check and see which kickers were taken and um, see which uh, which teams still have openings, and then go out and target those teams. Thank what? You. Yeah. So Mike McCarthy's compared you to Mason Crosby a couple of times as like one of his highest compliments. The Rams yeah. are potentially looking at signing Mason Crosby. Do you have any relationship with him because of that overlap with Mike McCarthy? Uh, I've never met him. No. If you had the chance to meet him Sunday, what would you what would you ask him about playing for Mike McCarthy or what would you want to pick his brain about if you had that Um, I just tell him that he's incredible, um, that I watched a lot of him and um, he's an inspiration and keep going. That's, that's all I'd have.